A Fall Creek father and son are making the most of life after both were diagnosed with a rare medical disorder. News 18 Sam Priestead spoke with the Anderson family and shares with us how the son's illness saved his dad's life. Seven years ago, Evan Anderson started worrying about his infant son Parker's <laughs> severe breathing issues. We had several uh, hospital visits, emergency visits. He's had a couple of helicopter rides. <laughs> it took a year for doctors to diagnose Parker with Marfan syndrome. You're missing a certain protein basically in your DNA that makes your any connective tissue that you have uh, potentially stretchy and you could call it weak. Since the disorder is genetic, Evan wanted to get tested despite not showing any symptoms. He got a positive diagnosis last fall. To hear that there was something very seriously actually wrong with me it was very eye-opening and surprising. Doctors found an aneurysm and Evan needed immediate surgery. The surgeon told me I probably had a, around two months left before it would have ruptured. And then at that point, you only have X amount of minutes to get to a hospital. Now, after the successful surgery, Evan and Parker are enjoying a more laid back life because there are risks with being too active. Parker enjoys playing on his swing set and his large bouncy ball. He also enjoys fishing and playing backyard t-ball. I have a tee over here and I've been, I've been practicing a lot hitting the back on a ball. The slower pace of life lets the Andersons appreciate what really matters. It just kind of changes your, your mindset and uh, you know, you're forced to think about you know, every little moment a little bit more, I think. Reporting for News 18, I'm Sam Freestead. Parker is hoping to compete in fishing tournaments when he's old enough. He says his dream job is to work with Legos and become a Lego master. The CDC says Marfan syndrome is rare, happening at about 1 in 5,000 people.